Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to create a product grid fast and easy. Of course, we'll select the product grid, click this, and then hit select catalog products. Okay, now in this page is where you can see all your products and select what you wanted to include in this product grid. Keep in mind that you must create or import your products first before watching this video. If you can see on the right side, I already have all my products here and I also have multiple categories. Let's go ahead and add some products. I'm adding them one by one right now by clicking this small add button here. If you want to add a whole category or whatever is in this side, just click this button right here. And once done, you can click this setup product grid. Now in this page, you have an option to select the size of your grid. That's number one. This determines how many products you'll have in one page. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to change the uh, the grid size. It's two by three, and this is three by three. So I'm gonna go ahead and select. I guess 3 by 3 let's try that now number 2 is the grid template so the template that you select here will apply to all of the products that you have in this product grid now you can easily edit this template by pressing this pencil icon when you hover your mouse in the template Click preview template right here to see how it looks when you're editing the template. Now on the left side, this is where you can select an example product when you are editing. In this case, I prefer the actual product that I have inside the grid, which is this one. Okay, it's Waterman and here you can see all the product fields that your product has and this uh, and this side and you can of course add any of them if you want so this is a text box and to edit this just simply click on it so you can remove what's inside and you can also add what you wanted to add so you can add product fields you can add custom text as well so here I'm gonna show you how to do that so what I what I prefer is one product field per text box so that I can I can have more control so you can use this edit text in pop-up so that you'll see um, you'll see it like this so it'll be easier for you to edit it now you can change the font name the font color the font size and you can choose um, the fields right in here So you can also insert a link to a name or any of the other uh, product fields that you have and then click save now we'll hit preview and this is how it looks is the uh, product um, the image of the product and you know, just the name so I'm gonna drag and drop this text box right here to add more product fields so we'll just fix this and so by default, what you have is the name. So just edit text in pop-up and select any product field that you prefer in here. So right now, um, I want to add code. I'm going to change the size to 12 and then hit save. Now you can, of course, um, if you click preview this is how it looks so you you need to resize this um, just click it by the edge and so you can you can just move it around you know depends on where you wanted to uh, put this but in this case I wanted to uh, place it right here so I can add more 
text box so right now I'm gonna type in SKU here let's just say that this code works like SKU and I'm gonna explain to you how the product fields work uh, for example I throw in the text box here and I type in an open and close carrot bracket with the product field name so remember it's case sensitive uh, it's gonna call all the information that the product field has and you need to use a text box for this okay I'm gonna add more text field in here and then edit text and pop up and we'll change this name um, so gonna get the price um, so same thing so right now we have the price of course um, we wanted to change the uh, the text and the size and depends on what the currency is so you can add like um, US dollars um, Canadian and so on so right now uh, I'm gonna add dollar sign right here and this is how it looks so basically just uh, adjusting it um, moving stuff around is how you design your template so there are there's also this lines that um, can help you make sure that everything is uh, aligned okay to add more design we're gonna throw in a uh, background so I'm gonna move this a little bit throw in a background and drag this to the edge and select a color so this background also have a uh, border so it has a black border you can increase the width here so just make sure to drag your background all the way to the edge to make sure that covers the template and send it to back because if you don't it'll cover everything in here so and this is how it looks okay it's pretty simple but you can make it much more better it depends on how you'll design your template now after that uh, you, we can just hit close here and since we just have eight products um, we can see everything in here we're using this template so just click create your catalog once you're done to create a cover just click this blank page right here and then click this image choose an image that you wanted to use and just drag and drop it inside the page you can drag the uh, the image the edge of the image to resize it you can also use the page settings if you want to put a background for the whole page it can be an image or just a plain color right now we'll use an image Okay, we'll select maybe this or this one since it doesn't cover the whole page we'll change the position to fill so it covers the whole page now hit save and that's basically it if you want to add more information you can throw in a text box if you want to add more design you can also use the uh, the page background or throw in additional images it depends on you and how you'll design your cover so if you have any question any uh, anything that is not clear please let me know uh, you can comment down below or you can send me a message and I'll respond as soon as I can that's it for this video I hope you guys have a good day thank you for watching bye for now